So now I'll be talking about the problem of the area between two curves. So in these questions, what happens is that you're going to be given two curves and there's going to be some region that's going to be bounded between both of these curves and your job is to find the area of that region. So in this particular problem, I'm considering y equals x squared and y equals 2 minus x squared. And it should be clear enough that here I have a region that's bounded between both of them and only both of them. And what I want to do is basically compute its area. So to do that, I'm going to have to set up an integral. And well, first things first, I realize that I am not given my boundaries of integration. When that happens, I need to go figure out those boundaries myself. So hopefully it's reasonably clear that the boundaries of integration will be determined by the points of intersection. So what I've done is basically started trying to find them. And it turns out that they'll be at x equals plus or minus 1. So that tells me that my integral will then be from minus 1 to 1. And then the question is, what am I now integrating? So in these problems, what you'll see is that you're going to have some curve that just happens to be lying on top of another curve. And you've got to be careful because their roles might swap and you need to know what's going on. Here, I'm only focusing on the interval between minus 1 and 1. So I don't care about the stuff that's going on all outside of here. I only care about this curve here which happens to be y is equal to 2 minus x squared, and this curve here, which happens to be y equals x squared. So hopefully you can see that, in fact, 2 minus x squared is going to be the curve on top, and x squared is going to be the curve on the bottom. And what I'm essentially integrating is going to be the difference of the two. So that's 2 minus x squared minus x squared, which will essentially then be this. And I'll leave it as an exercise for you to prove that, in fact, this integral is equal to 8 on 3, and again, don't forget your units, unit squared in this case, and that's how you execute these type of problems. Thanks for watching.